What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com where you can check out everything we're doing, some other stuff we post. We've got a forum there, a bunch of pictures. So we got all these anomaly pictures on there from all the lunar orbiter missions, all sorts of good stuff. And you are looking at a Curiosity rover picture that a friend of mine, Daryl, just sent. He's one of my subscribers. I haven't heard too much from him, but I tell you what, you guys, if you watch my videos and you check out these Mars sites, I love when you guys send me stuff. You guys are doing my job for me and this is some of the newest stuff from curiosity uh, Cur curiosity I haven't had a chance to check a lot of this out yet and uh, there's just this whole uh, this whole Sol here which is uh, 429 which is pretty recent um, seems to be pretty badass I tell you what seems to have things that look like uh, statue heads like this right here with the two eyes and mouth and uh, just looks like rocks that's a pyramid type rocks with little carvings in them and stuff like that just a very a big mast area check this out over here it looks like it's something turned upside down this looks like a, a statue of something that's totally just been turned upside down see it here the back the flat back of it and if anything that's just totally been flattened out and we're gonna open these up in Photoshop in a second here and see if we can't drop this nasty color and pull some of this stuff out and it just sits in what my look at this more just perfect symmetrical shapes here and, and it sits in what my buddy Terry calls Uncle Jake's Junkyard. The Gale Crater, I tell you what, um, I think there was either some sort of, something happened here, there was some sort of earthquake, some sort of uh, flood, something came down in here and just brought everything into here, either that or uh, you know, a nuclear war, something happened here that just froze everything and uh, Mars lost its atmosphere, most of it, uh, most of it, I say that because if you go check out my videos you can see plenty of stuff, uh, look at this, more pictures are more perfectly cut rocks, uh, this one even looks like it's been kind of blurred out a little bit. It's been perfectly cut to shape something. This looks like a block you'd see in Pumapunku that has these perfect shapes that would fit into some wall somewhere. Um, and just look at all the mud that has been... This is... Look at all like the the rubble here and how how stringy and long it is and how it's been it looks like it's been mud at one time or you know along those lines a lot of brick looking things that, that match um, very cool picture here thank you Daryl for sending this over I uh, definitely hopefully would have caught these I have so many people to send me in over it's amazing how uh, some get to them and, and some of you guys like I said this has just become so fun for us to, to sit there and look at these pictures because um, there's so much there it's almost like every time you go to the site and spend some time you could probably find something um, that's how much stuff is at Gale Crater so let me show you how to get it so you know I didn't add this stuff to it like so many people come here and say oh that's a fake 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 it's so funny sometimes people get really indignant about it too when they come call they call me a fake artist or they say I photoshop things in and it's like well you're in photoshop or you what do you expect uh, you know you just added that stuff here's the, here it is here it's from Saul 2 or sorry 49 429 and uh like I said, you can come get it from the raw images here if you like to. Uh, there's more to come that's, that's being downloaded. And this came the 21st, so what's today? Today is the 22nd. So these pictures were taken yesterday. So he's watching the rover to come down every single day, which I really don't have a lot of time to do that. Um, there was his email right there. Um, so I still try and catch it. There's a couple really good apps on the phone that I can get it with, but these are the first. So the first five pictures are great, and uh, the first one I pulled up. This is where you got this anomaly, and the other ones have some good anomalies too that I'm going to go over here shortly. But let me go ahead and pull up into Photoshop real quick and just show you a couple of these anomalies and let you go catch them out yourself. Now, as always, I come in here and I prove the you know. I think that, that the rover is programmed to add a little bit of color to this photograph. Every single picture it takes in color, it adds a little bit of, of, of uh, orange, a little bit of that brownish color to it, more brown. See how you get this color up here from the sky? So what I do when I get it in here, I take it to auto color, and I'm just going to hit auto color. And this is what Photoshop will take this picture and basically even out the colors so it looks normal. And you'll see every time it does it, it looks like Earth. See, every single Curiosity rover picture I've ever done will do this. You can get it in Photoshop shop yourself and try it out so let's take a quick look and I think it looks easier to mess with this way it's easier to see um, look how much more the rocks pop out they look like normal rocks that have you know carved and you can see the difference in the colors now they all don't have that overtone you can actually see the difference in the rock colors like this spinny or the one here that looks like it's a perfect circle um, not a perfect circle but has like the edge on it is a different color than the one up there whereas before you really couldn't defriate it yeah, here try it I'll show you before see how you really can't tell the difference between it I mean it kinda of blends it all together and that's why I think they do it because there's so much there when they got to the Gale Crater they they, they knew it was gonna be there they're like whoa 
Um, so let's see here, misstep forward again. Now let's take a quick look at this right here. This one's just too cool. And I just want to go ahead and take that little section and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to auto contrast it just to try and pull it out a little bit, auto tone. And uh, let me go ahead, you know, I should have gotten a little bit more because I wanted to see this thing up here look like some sort of machine that's been, uh, something's happened to it. See this up here? This looks like some sort of machine or something. It looks like a, an engine block or something that's been broken in half or some sort of, some sort of, Bassett. Who knows what that could have been. Here we go. That's what I love about this stuff in many ways. Um, so hard to tell exactly what this stuff could have been. So let me do the auto contrast on it. Let me do some of this exposure. See if I give it a little gamma. See if it helps at all as I run through it. I like kind of running through it so you can see it on the video as I go down lower. Because sometimes you see it better when it's lower. And uh, different metals seem to come out or different. See, a lot of this I think is actually metal. I don't think that's a stone. I think that's metal. Um, this right here looks to be carved either stone or metal. It looks like it's something that's just been flipped over on its side. And you can even see how the back piece of it has more. And check this. So let's check this out. This, this has definitely been worked, this stone. This piece right here has been broken right here. You can see the jagged edge. And you can see the jagged edge or the cut that was here. But look how this is a, uh, it's a circle and it's like a, a tube type look but you know it's like the bevel like uh, those almost like you see at the end of the old you know the old uh, Englishmen uh, they, they, when they're when you're looking here in America they show the old uh, founding fathers they've got that twirl at the bottom of their hair like it's got that twirl thing to it there like just that style or like you see on the old style couches or the cushions on the side um, those long tube so basically that's in there and it's connected to that and that looks just like it was just cut off of something it probably was on this statue right here or something here that has to do with this um, this here is very cool. This is definitely something that was uh, been worked by some sort of hand or, or somewhere along the way. Um, let's see if we can't find a couple of the other little pieces that I saw earlier too on the bottom. That might have been one of the other ones I've noticed. Okay, here we go too. This one is, is another interesting one that uh, see here next to it too, the ones as well. Check this out. There's a little point on this one and uh, hopefully this will be um, able to pull it through the just a little bit more of the gamma and stuff. Uh, a little bit there. I'm looking at this piece here, and this right here, this, this just seems to be something that's been, uh, I mean, what kind of rocks have two perfect things here in the front that come down like this? They've got like two, uh, like a piece of machinery that's got two legs there, a leg there, and a leg there, and another piece here that comes up. And these are the symmetry in these rocks see how this is actually like a grid pattern there's one here one here and this would have been like this if this wasn't broken this looks like this has been broken right here um, it actually looks a little bit smudged there so whatever was there was pretty bright um, so let's see let's cancel that out more stuff up in here that just looks like it doesn't belong that we can sit here all day and have this here let me check this out this little robot head guy too now this is cool I like this as well image adjustment oops auto color Ooh, you can really see it there that's cool okay an eye an eye a mouth right there an eyeball an eyeball and there's like some visor on them and that's just probably standard rock let's say I'm, I'm gonna give that I can't sit there and, and stay on anything but it that could be look like the head of something it looks like a head of a robot it looks like uh, three CPO or something if it was painted gold you know I must say so Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for what I want to Photoshop on here. Let me just scroll through it real quick so you can take a quick look at it. In this color, um, yeah, up the top, it's just more and more of the same. More of these, uh, look at this. This is like a little circle thing here. Let's take a look at this. Oh. Image, auto color, under contrast. See it there? Just build in whatever that is. That uh, That's definitely something that's been made and made it or something that was made. It looks like a circle, and it's even got a bevel around it. Um, sits next to this. This is interesting there. Same thing there. Let's do it. Auto color, auto contrast. Very cool, very cool. So much love, guys. Once again, you can get this over at the NASA website for the Mars rovers. And uh, here it is in that ugly color again, how we showed it to you at first with the uh, with the little guy's head right here and so much more on this. Like I said, more cut pieces here. I didn't really look at this one as much, but you can see the striations in this one. Um, Pretty cool. All right. Much love, guys. What's